Today we will be making shape robots. You're going to start out just like we do every single time by writing your name in the top corner. You can then split your paper in half by drawing a line right down the center. You'll have two different sides to experiment with two different robots. The first robot will start with a shape, a circle head. You want to think about simple shapes, so we're going to make number ones for the neck. Next, we're going to want to do the body. I'll make sure I'm switching colors using a lot of colors, a variety of colors to create our robots. I'll make a large circle body. Switch colors again. Then I will make the arms. Simple straight lines connected with a small straight line to make rectangle arms. To make it look like the arms can bend and move, I add these number ones to make smaller squares and it looks like the arms are bendable. I'll switch colors again and create my rectangle legs. Again, long number one legs um, connected with a small rectangle line. I can experiment with another shape on this other side. I will start with a triangle head and turn it into a diamond head. Simple number ones for the neck. This one I'm going to create a wavy shape. This is a, a rectangle, but it's a wavy body. Shapes can be straight or they can be wavy lines. I'm going to add one giant leg. It could be a dress. I'm going to pretend it's a leg. And then I'm going to add circles on the bottom, and those will be like wheels for the feet. That large shape is the same as the wheels, but I can add more colors later. I'm going to add circles for this person's arms. Repeating shapes is a good way to fill up your robot. Now I want to do some features. I will do hearts for eyes on this side. You can do any shape that you would like. And circles on this side. I want to use as many shapes as possible. There is my mouth. I like to make a simple rectangle mouth, and then to make it look like teeth, I add number ones. Little dots for the eyes. That's a simple circle shape. Now it's going to be antennas. Adding a line with a circle on top makes it look like a radio antenna. I can make it look like music is coming out or sound. Adding a music note is a circle with a straight line. Once again, a circle with a straight line. I can add buttons and other features in the middle of my robot. These circle buttons I will fill in with color. I can even add a screen in the middle. This screen I'm going to have showing the heartbeat of my robot. Zigzag lines. Zigzags look like mountains. I can color the legs, I can add patterns, or just use the blank white. I think it looks better if you add more color to the robot. On this side, I need to fill in the dots for the eyes with simple circles. I'm going to make a large half circle for a big smile, and then I'm going to do a pattern on the arms. The pattern just gives it more of an artistic touch. Flip it over to the back, and you can make one large robot too. So since we have two robots on the front, I want to also create one robot on the back. This one has a lot of squares, like a square head, eyes, and mouth. It has each of those individual teeth. Use circles for the ears, and then those same antenna shapes. I use straight lines for the arms, and I used triangles for the hands or fingers. On this side, I made it look like the letter C for a claw. You can look sideways letter C or even like a letter U. It has claw pinchers. I did the same screen and buttons. And I can add dials and other devices to make it look more interesting, filling up that white space. I like to color in my shapes to give it more of an artistic touch. I added polka dots and wheels. Simple circle shapes really complete the work of art. So today you're going to have two robots on the front and one robot on the back you're going to be creating your own shape robots, so give it your own artistic touch.